De regreso aquí en Auto 060, estamos hablando de vehículos con motor diésel. Eh, hablamos ahí con uh, Brad Setters de Audi. Y ahora vamos a hablar con Wayne Guedes, el colega eh, que se dedica a hacer pruebas extremas de manejo, pero extremas en el sentido de economía y de eficiencia. Y Wayne recientemente manejó una Jeep Grand Cherokee Eco Diesel desde Chicago hasta Austin. Y vamos a ver lo que nos dice de su experiencia. Aquí está Wayne Guedes. So Wayne, uh, you're doing another of your uh, adventures, and uh, now with uh, Jeep Diesel, uh, how was it? Well, I got to tell you, this, you know, anytime you get to drive a brand new vehicle, there's always some pluses there. Um, this is my first drive with anything um, with Chrysler, and to drive a Jeep that can get, you know, over 40 miles per gallon on the highway was pretty special. Um, that would be the Jeep Grand Cherokee with the brand new three liter Eco Diesel. Yeah, that's a 2014 uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee, uh, brand new, and it's uh, just hitting the dealerships, I believe. And uh, I understand that you drove nonstop from uh, Chicago to Austin, right? Well, it was almost nonstop. I made a, I made arrangements so I could get uh, a few hours of sleep somewhere, you know, in Oklahoma near Texas border before I uh, headed off in, for the next segment. But it was a challenge in that I I told Shell I'd make it 24 hours, and we made it easily within that, and that included all the stops and the traffic around Dallas and the overnight stay in uh, Durant, Oklahoma. So. It was, a, it was a pretty quick drive, pretty easy drive, and of course, as, as you and I know, anytime you get a chance to drive a great diesel, it's like, wow, they really impress you. Yeah. In the last segment, I actually was talking to the people from Audi who uh, are doing a big push also to to introduce the diesel the vehicles, and I understand you also did something with them uh, a few months ago, right? Yeah, well, that, uh, the Audi Truth and 48 drive, that we took uh, a bunch of journalists and some of my own team members. We crossed the country in uh, less than 48 hours from L.A. to New York, and in doing so, we uh, wired to beat the EPA highway, and we were in a Q5, an A6, and an A7, rated at uh, 31 highway, 38 highway, 38 highway, respectively, and they all smashed that to, again, just showing the power of diesel and how the EPA kind of underrates them a little bit, as you probably know in all your test drives. But, uh, you know, you, you had one heck of a test drive in Iceland the other day, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. Fun. Yeah, it was great. It was great. It was not a diesel. It was a hybrid, but yeah, a lot of fun. Uh, but going back to this uh, Jeep, uh, the, so being a, the, the Germans, obviously, the, all the Europeans have had a huge advantage with the diesel technology since it's been so popular over there for a long time. But uh, being this the first uh, model offered by the Chrysler Group in the States, uh, what's your impression? Obviously, I, I think you love it, but give us a little more detail. <laughs> yeah. Well, anytime you get to drive a Jeep Grand Cherokee, which is actually a premium SUV, it's, you know, not along the lines of Audi, but it's also not a, you know, it's not an Escape, it's not a Explorer, this is a higher level trim. Um, along with the, you know, just imagine 8.4 inch screen with Connect, and you've got all your uh, touch screen and your uh, controls on the steering wheel, great leather, great interior, beautiful headliners, all of that. But what's really new here is, is that 3-liter EcoDiesel, and I had a chance to drive one in a Ram 1500 just a, a few months ago, and was just floored by it. So it was just only a matter of time until we had a chance to do something with it, and this was the perfect opportunity. A lot of power, you know, 250, 240 horsepower, 420 pound foot of torque, which today, you know, that's kind of standard. It's that 420 pound foot, pound foot of torque number that gives you the acceleration, though. And you don't have to load with it, just it just goes from, you know, idle all the way up to like 2,000 RPM. You're really moving, whereas for a gas engine, you know, you have to run up three, four grand to get some good power out of them. So that's the power of diesel, and it, it proves itself without even question. It just, uh, you know, accelerated like any anything else, and yet out on the open road, it just kind of loafed out there and got great fuel economy for the drive. Yeah, and that's uh, some of the things that people still don't know a lot about diesels, right? Like great fuel economy, great driving, and, um, and also there's no noise, there's no smoke, there's nothing, right? Nothing of yeah, that. And, uh, you know, a tiny bit of clatter at idle, but uh, I guess one of the keys to diesel, even though, you, you know, some are seeing these uh, large diesel differentials between gasoline right now, there's a time savings in that Imagine this diesel, which just went 1,118 miles without refueling at 42.6. If I was in a gas engine, there had been maybe 700 miles. Every week that I would have to fill up a gas car, that could go to a week and a half in the diesel. Yeah. So there's, imagine that 15 to 20 minutes you're not spending driving the gas station and driving back. Just because you're driving a diesel, there's a, there's a huge time segment. Or it's a, and, and, you know, 
know, you got to say time is quality here. And it, uh, it's just something that the average consumer just doesn't put together. Yeah. And also, uh, being that it is like so efficient as you have so much range, uh, that also like er erases the anxiety of not finding a gas station that has diesel, right? Yeah, well, I have, you know, over 50% of the retailers in the country, gas, sta gas station retailers, have diesel with them. And, of course, um, since this was a Shell-sponsored drive, I used, I used the Shell app to find out the nearest stations. And I went from the Chicagoland Speedway to the Circuit of Americas in Austin, Texas. Uh, there was a Shell station with diesel just right up the highway, seven and a half miles from the track, and it was right on the route. So I stopped there to fill up, top off. Went to the Chicago Land Speedway, took some snaps, took off from there, drove to the Circuit of America's track in Austin, and used the Shell app. And four miles away was another Shell station with diesel. So, you know, it was pretty simple to find diesel as long as you, uh, you know, you, in your local area, you're going to find it. You're going to go there all the time. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Wayne, uh, thank you very much for uh, your time again and, uh, and sharing your experience uh, with all these uh, beautiful uh, and amazing drives that you do. And uh, enjoy the weekend there in Austin. Oh, no problem, and thank you, Javier, for the time on your, uh, to, you know, to give a little explanation as to what the 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee with the 3-liter EcoDiesel was all about, and let's hope that we can get you in on one of these drives, because I know you like to have some fun out here on the open road as well. Yeah, keep me posted. The last time I was at the Audi thing, I just couldn't do it, but uh, I'm going to save my uh, calendar, uh, save the date for uh, when you get, get and drive with him. <laughs> Very good. Thanks, Javier. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye. That was Wayne Geddes from uh, CleanMPG.com talking about his drive on the 2014 uh, Jeep Grand Cherokee with the Echo Diesel, which he drove from Chicago to Austin this past weekend. Esto es Auto 060. Yo soy Javier Mota y los espero en la próxima edición aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.